time. Now I actually want to pull, there's a couple other people I want to pull out, and Travis, you can just kind of invite them out if we've got time, but I only want to stick on here for maybe 20 more minutes tops, okay? And then I've got to run. So here's the deal. Trav, if you could just, uh, uh, well, let me, let me describe the specific group, and you need to be specific in the email in case a lot of people have emailed. I want you to, uh, to email if you've been doing, you decided, that you made a new commitment to your business, and if you got somebody to go all in today, okay? Obviously, there's like 100 people that got all in today, right? So there's a lot of them. So if you got an all in today, all right, and maybe this is your first time, especially if it's your first one ever, okay? I want you to email I'm all in in power at gmail.com. If somebody could repost that email in the comments, you need to email your username, okay? You need to email what you did. Now, here's the deal. You have to be all in, and you have to have a ticket to Charlotte, and if you're not, I'm not going to invite you out. But if you're those two things, if you're all in, you've got a ticket to Charlotte, and you've got an all in sale today, I want you to come out, and I want to talk to you for a minute, okay? I want to talk to you for a minute because I want to help you to do bigger things. But I also want you to share with other people what you did, okay? Because I'm sure it's not that much. So, you know, email, I'm all in empower, and we might not have, hold on a second, I'm sending, uh, send the usernames, remember that. Uh, that's awesome. Two on here. Is there, wait, we got somebody else on here too? I think we got somebody else on here. Samantha? We didn't bring you out. Hold on a second, I wasn't paying attention. Samantha, how you doing? Can you talk? Yes, how's it going? I'm so excited to be on here. Like, hey, where are you really, from? Really excited. I'm from Dallas, Texas. You're from Dallas, Texas. Well, yes. congratulations on being out. So tell us uh, uh, your, a little bit about the story, why you went all in today, why you decided to make the commitment, and, and uh, you know, talk to me. All right. I decided to go all in today, and I'm going to tell you exactly the story why I went all in, right? So um, I'm under Paul Gardner in Team Blade, and I remember, you know, I kind of put Empower Network on the shelf because – I'm going to be honest. I didn't believe in myself. I didn't believe that I could create the results. I thought the people that get the hey, results. Hey, hold, on, hold on one second. I don't want to cut you off. This is totally rude, but just I have to repeat myself because I'm getting a message from Trav. I don't think people understood. So if you, number one, are all in, you got an all in sale today, you have your tickets to Charlotte, and this is the first all in sale you've ever gotten, I want you to email I'm all in in power at gmail.com. You need to include your username, and you also need to tell that that's why you're emailing, because you're all in. You got an all-in sale. You got your tickets to Charlotte. I want to bring you out, too, and talk about what you're doing. So sorry. I apologize, Samantha. Back over to you, and you can start over. I, I won't interrupt you again. It's okay. I So I'm under Paul Gardner and Team Blake. So big, big shout-out to everybody in my team, right? So um, I have put Empower Network on the shelf because I didn't believe in myself. I thought that everybody that got results had to have some kind of magical stuff to them, right? So Paul ended up coming to a, um, a webinar, right, that they had over here in Dallas. So I said, you know what? I'm ready to meet this Paul, you know? I'm ready to see. I know there's something about him that's special that I don't have, and that's why I don't believe in myself, right? So I kept lying to myself, right? I just wanted to be like, okay, yeah, that's what he has, and that's why I don't believe in myself, and it's not for me, right? So I was like, okay, I'm going to go meet with him. So I met with him and Kimberly, right? And I started hanging out with them, and these people were totally normal. They were just like me, right? They were just like me. So then they invited me out to Six Flags. And when I went to Six Flags, I am a big wussy when it comes to roller coasters. I will not get on. I will not get on. You would have to drag me on one. And one of the roller coasters on there, there was a lady that had died a few months ago off of it, right? She had flown off the roller coaster. So I told myself I would never get on that one. So then Paul, right? It was kind of like in my business, like I always had fear right in front of me and I always let it get the best of me. So Paul was there and telling me, hey, you know what? You need to get on this roller coaster so you can be able to see, right? That it's not as bad as you think it is. So I was walking down the stairs. I was like, no, I'm not going to do this. And then I stopped. I'm like, Samantha, you always do this. Every time something scares you, every time you have fear, you walk away from it, right? So I was like, it's time for you to face fear in the face. So I felt like I was up against the wall, just like how I was in my business, right? So I ended up getting on the roller coaster and I made it all the way through. And I, when I got up, I was like, it's not as bad as I thought it would be, right? So then I started walking to every single roller coaster, just getting on and 
we had to leave because it closed down. And finally, you know, finally, like I realized, right. I realized something and I said, what if I could tackle my business like this? Right. And not be scared because it's not as bad as it is. So then I spent the whole day with Kim and Paul. Right. And I went back the second day and spent the whole day with them again. And I was like, these two are perfectly normal. They joke around the way I do. They laugh all day. They live live They enjoy it. I can do this too. Right. So then I told Paul, you know what? I'm ready to do what it takes to go all in. So you know what I did? I want to go get a title loan on my car. I could care less if they take my car. Right. I want to go do that. I took off all different clothes out of my closet. TVs, everything, I made a garage sale, right? I did whatever it took and I sold it out because I have so much faith, right? I have so much faith that I'm going to get all that stuff back even better, all right? And I'm not going to be driving that car that I'm driving right now. So that's what I had to do to go all in. So I want to encourage people to do what it takes, right? To do what it takes and just believe in yourself. And now I feel like I could just tackle on everything. And I haven't gotten a... a an all in sell, but I promise you, I will get one before this week is over. All right. Because, well, I'm yeah, that's, that's it. That's it. You'll get one before this week is over. So, you know, here's a person that she's just like, you know what? I'm doing it. I'm going to do a garage sale. You know what I mean? Uh, and I'm just going to find a way to get the education that I need in my business. Right. Because the reality is guys, is this is what this is really about. It's about learning the skills that you need to run the business, your business, the way that you want, because nobody can take that from you. Nobody, nobody can take it from you. Nobody can take what you learn away from you, right? Because you own that inside, right? You own that inside. And that's what that's about. And so congratulations on making the decision to get all in. Well, here's my question for you. How many all-ins are you going to bring to Charlotte? No matter what, how many are you going to bring? I'm going to bring as many as I can, but I want to bring... I want to not bring not 10. as many as you can. I, I want to bring specific, no matter what, how many are you going to bring? I'm going to bring 10 all-ins no matter what happens. I'm telling you I'm running on maybe four hours of sleep. And tonight, I'm not getting any sleep at all, at all. Like, I'm so excited that I can't even sleep. Last night, I just kept waking up because I was like, I, I need to do something. Like, I can't sleep. Like, I'm so excited and pumped up. I, I was waiting for the cart to open so I can go all-in. Like, hey, well, I, I, I am, I'm looking forward to seeing you at the event with 10 all-ins with you. Now, here's the thing. Samantha, you get 10 all-ins to the event, I will bring you on stage, and I will show you how to completely transform everything in your life. But you got to do it, right? If you bring nine all-ins, I won't bring you up. That cool? Yes, I will do it. You'll do it no matter yes. what? No matter what. I'm telling you, I'm giving you my word. I'm going to do it no matter what. I believe, I have, you. I believe, you can I believe in myself that much that I'm going to do whatever it takes. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Well, guys, that's what it takes is make a decision. So get to Charlotte, bring people to Charlotte. And if somebody, if Travis can get these people on in the next minute, I'm going to bring more people out. Uh, I don't know. Here, Trav, if you could just tell me in the over here in our chat uh, where we're at in this, if you're still researching it, because I don't want to wait another 10 minutes and just kind of tell stories or whatever. Uh, we can bring people out tomorrow if, if, uh, if we need to. So it's coming up on a little over an hour. Uh, and if, depending on what he says is I'm going to, I'm going to either close this out or wait a minute. Uh, but just give me a second, folks. Hold on. Anyone else? If anyone else has an invitation link, click it and get on it now. Otherwise I'm closing this out in the next 60 seconds. All right, so I'm going to start closing it out while I'm waiting for them, and then if somebody surprises me, I'll bring them out too. And if not, we'll invite some people out tomorrow. Here's the deal, guys. Here's the deal. We're going to do transformational things with or without you. So if you're on this call and you're on the fence, don't be on the fence anymore. Click the all-in link after we end this webinar. Watch that 10-minute video that I've got back there. Wait, hold on a second. Abram's coming out, and two if they click the link. Okay, if you guys are coming out, please come out right now. All right, and then I'll just keep talking and I'll wait till they come out and then they'll share for a couple of minutes. We've got 